when it comes to emotional scenes like that. They become incredibly powerful for me personally. And then I watched it back afterwards and I was like, oh my God, it's, it's heartbreaking. It really broke my heart when we did lose Roach in season two. Easy girl. What was it like for you to film that scene and what did that mean for you, especially knowing the strong connection that they've had? It's always an incredibly emotional thing. I've always had a connection with animals ever since I was very young. My mum thought I was going to be a vet and I obviously have a very close bond with my dog, Cal. And then when you spend as many hours as, as I have spent riding a horse and training with a horse and building that relationship, you do develop a very strong emotional bond, especially when that horse is, is has such a a soul to it and such a kind, um, try hard, uh, work hard uh, mentality. And so anything when it comes to emotional scenes like that, they become incredibly powerful for me personally when when you when you tap into that side of it and you, and you you leave the the acting behind and you draw upon the reality of a situation um, and imagining it be true and it becomes an intensely emotional moment. Be not afraid of her. She is your friend. It was very emotional filming it because the horse, Zeus, it's a train so it can lie down. Mm -hmm. And I, the best bit of acting I've seen in The Witcher, I, the horse starts like whimpering as Geralt um, was stroking it. It was just absolutely like, it genuinely was heartbreaking, the, the noises that the it was making because they'd made these big like slices in its stomach mm -hmm. so like looking at it and then hearing the whimpering of the horse like it was it really actually genuinely was like so sad and then i watched it back afterwards and i was like oh my god it's it's heartbreaking so yeah it was really really actually emotional because the horse was so bloody good at acting <laughs> There were so many incredible fight sequences in season two. Which one are you most excited for the fans to see? Break it down for me. Um, ah, it's difficult. I think for me, my favorite sequence was, and it's, it's a weird way of answering this question, but in episode one of season two, what made that fight sequence so wonderful for me was Christopher's performance after yeah. the fight sequence. Yeah. He is, we know him as this, this bombastic, vivacious character, and he he plays it so wonderfully in Game of Thrones as well. But then we see him do this role, and it was such a powerful Shakespearean moment. And he is an extraordinary talent. And that made that 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 final piece, that 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 final note, that fight scene, made it such a a powerful moment. And uh, I, that was all thanks to him. All thanks to his incredible performance. For Nivellen, who really. He loves Geralt and, 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 and is somehow his best friend. And, you know, to hide stuff from your best friend, it's, it's also hard. So, so it, was, uh, it was wonderful to shoot that and, and you know, to finally, and, and yeah, and, and to play, play, play the circuits he has been hiding all the time, right? That witches obtain children so they can feed them with magic herbs. Talk to me about the prosthetics and the amount of time you were in the makeup chair in order to get that full look. Well, they built a suit around me, and I have seven people around me all the time to, to, to make that suit work, including everybody who's, who's fitting me and, 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 and stuff. But it's 95% it's prosthetics, and it's 5% uh, uh, CGI, and that is my face. So did you think it was full of full I makeup? Did. I did. You did? OK, cool, cool. It looked well, great. Yeah, that's good to know. That's good to know. Maybe I shouldn't have said it. It was just <laughs> makeup. You got me there. <laughs> so the fans have had to wait nearly two years for season two of The Witcher. Henry, I'm curious to know, what was your mindset heading into the second season? Did you feel any pressure to make it bigger and better? I don't think of it as pressure. I think of it as responsibility. And there's only so much uh, control I have. Um, this is, I can't, I can't control plot lines, storylines, even character direction but what i can do is is um have as much influence as i possibly can upon my character on the character i'm playing with Geralt, i wanted to bring 
as much of book Geralt into the season as the showrunner's vision would allow. Mm -hmm. And so I tried to make him come across as more intellectual, um, more wise. I mean, he's been around for 70 plus years, so he's going to have a sense of wisdom. And he's also lived an incredibly hard life. So he's gonna have, uh, after many years of, of self-reflection, um, some perspective. And I tried to apply that, especially with the relationship with Siri. I wanted to show that that aspect of Geralt, that soulfulness, that understanding, mm -hmm. to say, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and tell a story, and if you want to keep on talking after that, then you can. And and I think Freya did an amazing job of of playing that as well, of playing the like, huh, okay, well, he's been through stuff too. Then I get it. Maybe I am comfortable sharing this, and I think Freya did a wonderful job of showing the subtleties of that.